Welcome to the PCB Train online assembly tool. This tool allows you to generate a quote for your project quickly and easily all the way through PCB fabrication, component selection, PCB assembly to cost of delivery. This drastically reduces the time lost in waiting for quotes, allowing you to save time and money on your project. This tool is suitable for prototyping and low volume batch assemblies up to 100 boards. Customers who require mid to high volume batches or require additional services such as box build should get in touch via the contact us form or send all relevant data via email to pcbtrain at newburyelectronics.co.uk Or for any other questions or help whilst using the tool, you can also use the chat support function in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. This will be available from 9am to 5pm, Monday to Friday. The PCB Train online assembly tool will take an average of 15 minutes per order to run through and complete based on the average bill of materials, saving you two to three days per development cycle. But it will take a little more time in setting up during the first order to make sure your bill of materials has all the relevant data required for the tool to quote accurately. But for the time saved in the long run, it is well worth the initial investment. To start your order, click PCB Assembly. Now please select whether you would like PCB Train to manufacture your boards or whether you will be supplying the board to PCB Train for PCB Assembly. If you are supplying boards, please skip to the components section of this tutorial. To start the PCB fabrication process, please select the number of layers your board requires, followed by the board type by clicking next step in the appropriate box. Here we are confirming the number of layers and the type of your boards. Please enter the circuit dimensions in the following two boxes followed by the quantity of boards required, up to a maximum of 100. You can either type this quantity in manually, or use the up and down arrows at the right hand side of the box to adjust. Please select the colour of solder resist you require, followed by the colour of the legend. If you need to reset these colours at any point, click here. A summary of your order details is displayed here, and if you need to start over, please press here. Otherwise, click next step. Now you need to select whether you would like PCB trained to supply your components or whether you will free issue them. Unless you are supplying all components, please follow PCB trained to supply. You will have the option to supply free issue individual components later. Here is confirmation of the quantity of boards. Please select if your board is single or double sided. And please select whether you need IPCA 610 class 1 two or three. Make your selection, check your order details and click next to proceed. This is the confirmation of board quantity and the number of sides on each board. Here is where you will need to upload your bill of materials in one of these formats. To do this you can drag and drop the file or you can click to upload. Then confirm the name of your bill of materials. Click next to continue. Your data has now successfully been pulled in from the spreadsheet. To be able to process the quote, you will need to line up the information in your spreadsheet with the quoting tool using the drop down boxes. These are the three main pieces of information that will be required. Quantity, designator, and manufacturer's part number. You'll also need to select the first row of data in your spreadsheet. By clicking next, the tool will now search online and start to generate your quote. Once the tool has finished searching each of your components from the bill of materials, it will be displayed and colour coded. Here we can see all components are highlighted green, meaning they are available and in stock. To proceed, we need to select the mounting technology for each component. 
The easiest way to complete this part of the process is to select all a surface mount components and edit each individual ones that are not. Let's go through the details for each component. For each component there'll be an image, a description with the supplier reference and also a link to the supplier's website for that particular component so you can find any extra information that you require. You also have a manufacturer and part number. You'll have the supplier, the designators, the quantity, the unit price, the total price, the technology. You also have the ability to add a comment to the component. There's a drop down menu for each component as well, where you'll be able to check new brief free stock for alternatives. You can view all results for the component. You can also choose to supply this component yourself. You can edit the component, change the description, the quantity per board, the manufacturer's part number, designator, etc. You can also reset the entire row or delete it if needs be. If you decide to delete it but want to come back to it later, there is a row of functions in the top left hand corner. So for example, the first one you will come across is the back button. The second that you come across is add a new component. So if something's been missed off the original bill of materials, you can add a component here. Just type in the quantity, the manufacturer's part number and the supplier reference, along with the designator and click save. You can reset the entire bomb and search again. You can also restore any deleted rows. So the row we have just deleted, if we click there and reset, close that, it will now reappear at the bottom of the list. And this icon will then allow you to select all components for self-supply. And this is a help button. Also, if the mounting technology you require isn't listed, or for any other issues at all, you can always click stuck, click here to send bomb for manual quote. This will instantly send your full bill of materials quote to our internal quoters who will pick it up and get back to you as soon as possible. If you find that all your components are highlighted as green in stock or yellow I'll supply and you're happy with everything that you see, click next. However, if some of your components are highlighted differently, please check the colour codes for information on the issue. Here is an example. So we have now loaded an alternative bomb into the quoting tool. And as you can see, we are showing one component out of stock and one as an invalid quantity. We can deal with this in two different ways. You can use the thumbs up button. This will select all components under this category and mark them as I will free issue. Or you can select the bin to delete all components under this category. Or the other way we can deal with the components is to look at them individually. If we scroll down to have a look, Number 11, this component is showing invalid quantity. If we go into the submenu for the component and click edit component, we can now see the description, the quantity, the manufacturer's part number, supplier's reference and designator. So in here, if we manually input the quantity for the board as one, for supplier reference, you don't need to know this, you just need to input a space. And now that we have updated the quantity, we can now see that this is green and in stock with Mauser Electronics. Now let's look at row 12. We can see this component is being supplied by Farnell, but is currently out of stock. So we need to go to the sub menu at the side for the component and click view all results. So the quoting tool has searched online for a similar component and we can now see that DigiKey have stock. So you now press the thumb icon to press select and now we have that component in stock. So now that components 11 and 12 have been updated we now have a full bill of materials as listed as being in stock. This means we can move forward with the quote once we have selected the technology for mounting. Once you have done this click next. You are given an option of quantity versus the number of working days to deliver. 
you need to then make the selection as to how many working days you're willing to wait and whether you would like to up the quantity of boards. So once you have made your selection, you can move across to the right hand side where your order details will be listed. There is a price breakdown for the PCB, the assembly and the components, for individual boards and the batch and the number of working days for each. There is order details for the fabrication and also for the assembly. So once you're happy with all of those details, you have two options. You can now export the quote to Excel or you can click next to continue. Additional and quote information. Please check your PCB reference and make sure this is correct. Add any extra information you require. Check your email address and then check the order total. You now have two options. You can either email the quote to yourself or add to basket. Now your order has moved into the basket. Please check the common details, the fabrication product details and the assembly product details. You will also have the option of adding conformal coating if it is something you require. Once you are happy with those details, you can click check out or you can continue shopping to add another set of boards. We've now moved into the checkout and we need to input our billing and delivery address details. If you have ordered from us before, they may already be saved as a saved address. If the delivery address is the same as the billing address, please click here. Otherwise, please fill in the details below. Payment method can be taken via PayPal, credit or debit card, or for those with an active trade account, you can pay via trade account. And please let us know if the same revision of this part has been manufactured by us previously. Next step. Delivery service, please select the service you would like. And make sure that you agree to the terms and conditions. Next, you will need to upload your PCB data. Please note that we only accept the following files. Click Choose File. Select your PCB data. Click Upload. Order document uploaded successfully. Next step. And here we have your order overview. Please make sure you check all details and delivery addresses. If you're happy that your order details are correct, you can either continue shopping by adding other boards or you can place your final order. Once you click place order, you'll be taken through to the payment screen. And once your payment has been processed, your order will be put through. Thank you for placing your order with PCB Train and Newbury Electronics.